Hey guys, my name is Russian Madra and welcome back to Atacama Desert, the map that has too much sand, way too much sand. Well, you can never have too much sand, but I believe it's the close cousin and or sister to Arika Harbor. But with that being said, I'd like your advice for the first segment of this video and what I mean specifically by your advice or your demand, like, I want some chicken sandwiches and some waffle fries for free. Not, not that kind of demand. I mean... Which map or which gameplay would you like to see next? Obviously, I'm on winter break, so I have quite a bit of time to get gameplays for you guys, and I definitely enjoy playing some good old Bad Company 2 while I have some days off on my winter break. So, I have quite a few saved up. I've got a lot of Vietnam, and I've got a lot of regular Bad Company 2. I've got Mac 10 on Fubai, I've also got an M16A1 on Fubai, I've also got an M1A1 on Hill 137. Hamburglar Hill. Uh, I've also got, oh man, I've got another one on Khao Sun Temple. I've got more Harvest Day. I've got a, a Laguna Prescia. I've got another Atacama Desert. I just have a, a ton of great gameplays to upload, and I don't know which one to start with. So you can look at it as a Christmas gift that is totally late because you're probably seeing this on the 26th because I upload at night because these videos take a while to upload. So I do it just before I go schlafen. To, to sleep that's that's the verb and I really need some advice as to which one you guys would like to see first and, and I, I don't mean to totally just oh I, I took your ratios into account and then I just don't use the ratios anymore in terms of Vietnam versus bad company one I know the the ratios were definitely a good idea on my part but I, I, I sort of wanted to hold true to that but I, at the same time a lot of you have voiced your opinion that you don't find Vietnam as entertaining as regular Bad Company 2 and I definitely want to fulfill any requests that you have so for my next video if you have any kind of preference of the maps that I previously mentioned or if you want you can just specifically even say or more generally say Vietnam or regular Bad Company 2 as to which gameplay you'd like to see next but definitely I want to take whatever considerations or feedback you have into account so that I can definitely get whatever video or whatever specific map or gameplay you guys want to see the most. So with that being said, Atacama Desert, wonderful map. And I might also say that this particular piece of Atacama Desert, this back building, is wonderful. As you saw previously, it's it's an easy, easy spray route. You can easily pick off anybody that's trying to disarm B, and you can easily shoot any catfish or any Carl. In this specific case, this entire enemy team was literally Carl's. Now, it's not even a lie. It's like, it is Kim possible to get a worse team than this. And I, I know some of you get mad. Uh, these te this team's total noobs, or the total nub kicks, or total Carl's. Yeah, obviously. I mean, th that's that's basically where I get my best gameplays. And that's I, I think that's a general rule that some people don't know for some reason. But this is my theory this is my theory okay it's Christmas Day I got this gameplay today on Christmas Day so my th my theory I almost just said theory like I have some kind of SCH on it my sh theory uh, moving on my theory is that I think a lot of people got this as a Christmas present and it was probably the first day playing because there was like threes and fours and like level twos in this in this game and I, w I was sort of surprised by that but we just absolutely ran a train on them, and it wasn't that difficult. But here I saw Bush Monster, and he was, I believe he was saying something along the lines of, this isn't a direct quote, but he was just saying, I'm a bush, so I said, you know what, I'm going to end your spawn camping. Give me your sandwich. There we go. That's how spawn campers have to be dealt with. And you know what the thing is? I always try to embarrass a spawn camper because I always think that motivation, like, if I ever embarrass him, maybe he won't do it again. But that never actually happens, like... One reason that I absolutely love Vietnam is because it doesn't have a UAV, and that's 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 just as annoying as spawn camping. It's like you're sitting on a machine where you can hardly ever die on the first set of objectives. You guys know what I mean. On the first set of objectives, it's virtually impossible to kill someone on the UAV because their whole section, their whole area is off limits. But 
if you're in the UAV, you are the biggest catfish. I just have to say that. But basically here, my teammates got A and B arms, so I decided just to go to the back of their spawn and just distract them for a while and hold them back as as long as possible until B explodes. And really, at this point in time, it's obvious nobody's going to get there because a, a charge length is only 30 seconds. Look at that, level 3. What a Carl. And that's... I just looked at the enemy scoreboard. They weren't all, all Carls. I believe there was a few 40s and a few 30s and 20s in there, but there were a few that were just absolutely like how do you even know how to move around in a first person shooter and you know what i got embarrassed by a few of them i believe i got killed by a level four and a level three and another level four but it's just odd i mean i've just never seen these like people they're penguin slayer he's gonna quick scope me later on and and you're gonna see it you're gonna see it Look, okay, he, he respawns. Look, okay, I get his buddy, and then he respawns on his buddy, and I get grizzed all over my face. That's awful. That's, that's oh, that's cool, Penguin Slayer. Way to, way to spawn on your squad mate in our spawn, just a spawn camp. That's that's wonderful. Just, if I may say, the, say so myself. And another thing that I wanted to emphasize with you guys, hopefully you're not nauseous about the... The slow motion, I know some of you say, I hate slow motion, and other you say, I hate the splicing and dicing and slicing of videos, and you guys might see, I just passed that guy, excuse me, I've got the burps, just ate some apple pie, I passed the guy on my left hand side, I just didn't see him, sometimes my peripheral vision just totally fails me, and I just can't see anything, and it, it's frustrating to watch your own gameplay and see that, <coughs> excuse me, and it's like, I mean, a lot of you guys don't understand what I'm saying because you don't record your own gameplay. And I, that's not an insult by any means. I'm just awful like that. But it's like, it's like, how did you not see that guy, Russian Badger? Are you blind? Are you are you literally blind? And that was a good one. Give me your sandwich, please. Because, I mean, I don't think you guys will ever understand how much I beat myself up about this sometimes. It's like, how did you not see that guy? He was literally like right in front of you. Are you, are you blind? Are you... Are you blind in one eye? Are you wearing an eye patch? Maybe you're just... Maybe you got sand in your eyes because Atacama Desert. I don't know why, but I don't know how you did not see him. But moving on from that, I just wanted to discuss something about Vietnam and Bad Company 2. Just, just generally, as a general feeling, as soon as I came back to Bad Company 2 from Vietnam this morning... I, I played Vietnam as soon as from the 21st you know, up until this morning, and then I switched back to regular bad company too and I literally thought my brain was going to explode from excite like I, I was so excited I mean like the excitement was just gonna make my brain explode it was it was amazing like and even here you can tell this guy's a Carl it's like I totally missed him and I still have time to take out the 40 millimeter grenade launcher and shoot him or shotgun excuse me but back to my point you have no idea how fun bad company 2 is I mean and I, you know what I think it is I think it's the diversity of weapons and the better maps and the, I mean, I just want to say the complexity of Bad Company 2 because I don't think all of you will really notice this, some of you don't even have Vietnam, but for those of you who have it, play Vietnam for an hour and then play Bad Company 2 for an hour and you will notice a distinct difference and there's just something so amazing about Bad Company 2 and you won't even realize it until you play a different game and I, I think of Vietnam as sort of a different game. I don't know if it's whether the sensitivity or the diversity of weapons or it just seems more complex and in Vietnam get a little bit monotonous like okay you just died did you die from an AK a psh, or a, a PKM and or an RPK excuse me a PKM is a personal killing machine and that's in bad company too but th that's basically what it's come down to it is did you die from an AK a psh, or, a, or a, an RPK and it it, it seem, makes the game seem a little bit one-dimensional, and there are some maps that I don't specifically like in, in Vietnam. And I'm not saying Viet Vietnam is a bad map pack, or I'm not hating on it, hating on it in quotes, to say, per se. But there's just something, it's not like Vietnam is necessarily bad, there is just something that is so incredible and tremendous about Bad Company 2, and you really won't notice it until you go away from it for a little while, for a, a few days. That's all that I have to say about how great this game is and how great it has come back. And you can tell, look at this Carl. Like, there would be times where where some of the enemy players, like the new guys, they would literally just take out their saws and they would they would not stop to burst fire ever. Like they would literally 
shoot a 200 round box without stopping. Like, there, there's no hesitation, just... <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and unload every single one of these bullets until this box runs out of my saw, and I, I found that a little bit humorous, definitely. And <clears throat> the reason that I took so long to get in there and really get involved with setting the charge, I usually like to wait until I have at least five or six guys forward before I arm a charge because, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, that apple pie is really getting to me. I, I quite a bit of French, I don't, they're not French fried. They're, mashed potatoes and some some apple pie I eat it cold but it's somehow affecting my throat but I'm gonna polish this off quite this commentary very very quickly along with this this fast forward here but basically on all the objectives of Atacama Desert I like to get into the back of the spawn and basically dictate the killing spree in the back of the spawn and basically hold them back and let the other blue guys on my team my other squad mates get forward so that we have numbers forward in the enemy area before we arm the charge so that we can defend it in a better manner or we have we have more personnel to defend it correctly if that makes any sense so basically it's dictating their like it's basically dictating the enemy movement by sitting in the back of the spawn and killing them as they come forward in order to facilitate a better movement of your allies forward and check this one out are you ready all right wesley snipes now watch his body watch his body snipes oh he, he did this like ragdoll flail halfway across the room that was that was tremendous. What should I do for the last part of this, this little commentary? Should I sing? First song never learned in German? Well, that's like a rap, though. Nein, das ist die Frau, die Freitags nicht kann. That's... I don't, I don't think I'm going to rap. That's, that's tremendously unsuccessful. I don't think I like that. And I know some... If you're German right now, I know you're face-palming. You're face-palming so much because you know what that song is and you know the artist, but... Other than that, guys, please tell me which gameplay would you like like next. I know I, I mentioned all the gameplays that I have in the beginning of the video, but other than that, guys, which gameplay would you like to see next? And I will see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald.